stunning people. My name is Bean, and welcome to the Salt Lake Sessions. Our next artist is my Gemini sister. She's at the forefront of the new country Americana wave, and I can't wait for her to blow you all away. This is Joby Riccio. Take warning how you court your men They're like the stars on a summer's morning First they appear and then they're gone My father is a handsome devil He wears a chain On every link A heart does dangle Of another maid Hades loved and If I'd have known before I courted, I would have never courted none. I'd lock my heart in a box of golden and fastened it up with a silver pin. I wish I would. fly away from my own false lover and when he talk I would deny but I am not a little sparrow I have no wings nor can I fly so I'll sit right here and weep in sorrow and try to pass these troubles by Toby. Bean. Hey. I almost called you Brennan. You can call me Brennan. Brennan slash Bean. I don't know what you go by anymore. Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> That's his charm. You can call me Jiggly. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, it's... just we're in Nashville now. I, we are in Nashville now. Great. Last time I saw you was like three years ago in Boston. Yes. Which is crazy. Yes. And you have had a whole evolution since then. Yeah. We both have. We really, I was like, you also super have. Yeah, like... now I'm skinny. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it has just been so wonderful to see you thrive, you know? I feel Thank like you. you're a part of just this tiny little class of like three or four people I know that moved to Nashville around a similar time yeah. and have just blossomed here. For real. Yeah. It's Thanks. just so exciting to see. Yeah. So I want to hear, where'd you come from? Where were you born? 
<laughs> so I was born and raised in Morrison, Colorado, outside Denver, um, kind of like the foothills of the Rockies. Mm. Um, and then I moved to Boston for college and kind of the rest is history. The pandemic happened and moved back to Colorado, took some time to be with my family and ski and see the mountains. And then I moved to Nashville, uh, September of 2021. Mm. So a year ago this month. And have you always been making the music? Has that always been a thing? Um, I have always loved to sing, mm -hmm. but I didn't get my first guitar till I was, I think, 13. Um, and yeah, I started, I learned the mandolin in high school. Uh, I picked that up and got really into bluegrass. I mean, bluegrass is kind of like my home. Mm -hmm. It's where I'm from, it's my community. It's like the, the people who first got me into music mm -hmm. uh, and like really believed in me were all bluegrass musicians in Denver. Mm. Um, is there a big scene in Denver for bluegrass? Yeah, totally. Interesting. There's a huge, it's kind of its own thing, special to Colorado, Colorado bluegrass. But yeah, you wouldn't expect it, but there's like a huge community out there. No, I wouldn't expect that. Yeah. Cool. So then when you went to college, you kind of evolved, I'm going to call it evolved, yeah. into a more realized country version of yourself? Yeah, kind of just, well, as a little kid, I was like in my room listening to Leanne Rimes' Blue on repeat, like mm. teaching myself to yodel. So it was kind of more of like a return to self. Yeah. Um, not to say that like bluegrass isn't a piece of me. I would say that I'm very influenced by like all decades of American folk and roots music mm -hmm. and bluegrass and country and all that stuff. Um, so it was sort of more of just like a, a return to like something I was really into as a child, which is like singing country songs. Mm -hmm. um, and then like really trying to come into my own as a songwriter uh, in school studying songwriting too. And sort of like the convergence of those two things and like the influence of like really, I've always really loved like indie rock music. Um, and like a lot of the production style there, like that's kind of like those three things are sort of like the confluence of my, my current sound, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, I fully subscribe to that. <laughs> I feel like the, <laughs> click like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Help grow my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at least where I come from, my mm -hmm. family listens to country, but it's all pop country, which yep. I feel like is is definitely not the type of music that you make. I wouldn't put it in, I mean, I, don't, I, I guess you could say it's pop because it's hooky. Your stuff is so hooky, you know? But I would say that there's more depth to it than one shot tequila, two shot tequila, drink <laughs> on my tractor. And I think uh, the point I'm trying to make is the music that you make has depth that is super refreshing. Thank you. In country, and I think it kind of pulls back to the older country artists that made incredibly deep and just prolific music. Mm. Were any of those artists from back in the day your inspirations now? Hell yeah. Like who? I mean, cliche to say it at this point, but... Say it. Say Kelly her Parton. name. Say, say her, her name! name. You say knew. It. Yeah, you're like, well, obviously. Yeah. So, Dolly Parton, of course. Emmy Lou Harris, Linda mm -hmm. Ronstadt. Those are a huge... I almost said those are a big trio for me, and it's <laughs> ironic because they have an album together called Trio. Right. Um, that was hugely influential to me. Um, so them, for sure, uh, God, there's, there's so many. Willie Nelson mm. was a pretty big influence in my life. Um, and then there's some more, like, singer-songwriter, uh, country-adjacent people like Guy Clark or Blaze Foley. Those are also big influences of mine. Mm -hmm. Tell me about <laughs> the projects that you're working on now. What's in the works? So, um, I just signed a record deal with Yep Rock Records, um, yeah. Done. Pretty awesome. Yay! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So any any tour dates, anything, any, where can we see you? Anything of that nature? Um, currently, I'm just playing around Nashville right now. Um, I don't have any, like, big tours coming up necessarily, um, but we're still, we're honestly kind of just focused on releasing the music. That's enough. Right now and mm -hmm. just getting just trying to get it in front of the people who will really love it and mm -hmm. connect with it. I'm super, super excited for people to hear the music too, mm. because my last release, Strawberry Wine, is pretty like bluegrass uh, vibes for sure. It's so good. Oh, thank you. And the whole aesthetic package for that is wonderful too. Thank you. Big fan. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm like kind of going a bit of a different direction with like 
my image, I suppose you could say, for this upcoming record. Like, I'm wearing a suit on the front cover. Ah. Kind of like All a Tunnel of Love by Bruce Springsteen. Okay. Tell me know. about the suit. What does that mean? The suit, uh, it's just a nod to my queerness, really, and like more of my like masculine side. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I kind of like, ha- I feel like I was sort of like doing, it almost felt like drag or something yeah. where I was like dressing like hyper feminine wearing these long like prairie girl outfits and like part of it very much was me and part of it also felt like kind of like a persona that I felt pressured into just mm. as like a woman in bluegrass uh and a woman in roots music and like also not really a fully out like loudly queer country artist because mm-hmm. that was like even what three years ago, not really a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, This whole like queer country music movement that's come out in like the last couple years, like really since the pandemic, I feel like it's kind of like hit more of the mainstream is like so awesome and it feels really great to be a part of. Oh, you're so a part of it. Yeah. You're just right at the front lines of it. It's right here in Nashville too. It was like, you know, I always felt like this was where I knew I would end up, but knowing that I had like a home and a queer community here as well was like, yeah, nail in the coffin. Got to move to Nashville, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, yeah. Well, listen, you and your power suit can step on my neck any day. Yes. Thank I'm here you. for it. I'm here for it. I'm so proud of you and the work thank that you, you do just by being yourself. Oh. So. I'm proud of you. Great. Thank you. I just want to gush right back at you, but. You can. <laughs> Are we rolling? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dobie. Thank you. Let's do some more music. Yes. Yay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do, 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 do. might find I'm better off alone I'm still learning how to trust a heart that's forever changing its mind try to listen close to she wants not be too scared what I'll find Soak the plazas like cheap champagne Eat and drink myself silly And fill my body up with the sun We'd be stumbling and singing And falling in love with everyone I'm still That's 
forever changing its mind Try to listen close to what she wants Not be too scared what I'll find How do I Chasing what's just out of my reach Like that a little green flash Winking out between the day and the night It's a fool's gold illusion Nothing more than a trick of the light Ain't life a fool's gold Nothing more than a trick of the line Hey stunning people, it's Bean. Make sure to check out the Salt Lake Sessions YouTube channel and subscribe.